So earlier in the year, I had the opportunity to check out the Hydra from DNT Optics. It's a thermal three-in-one. It can be mounted on a gun in front of an optic or as a handheld. And I was really impressed with the, the quality and the value of that thermal. And if I had to classify the Hydra as anything, I would say it was a jack of all trades. It was, like I said, a three-in-one. You could do a lot of different things with it, but it wasn't necessarily perfect at any one thing. So if that was a jack of all trades, I'm going to call this new one right here the master of one. This is the Thermite 335R from DNT Optics. And we're going to talk about why I think this one is a master of one. And that one being a dedicated thermal night vision daytime optic for a rifle just like this. So the Hydra is designed and marketed as a three in one. It can be mounted in front of a low power scope or a red dot it can be used as a standalone optic with its own reticle and all that or it can be taken off the gun and used as a handheld it's small enough to do that this one right here however is bigger and heavier than that and has a lot more capability this one is designed to be an all-in-one optic for one rifle so the main body of the the optic is the thermal unit it has the night vision on top and on the other side it has a rangefinder and ir for the night vision camera it's also daylight so you really have three in one you have a thermal optic a day optic and a night optic with ir capability all these features do come at a price like i said this one is larger and heavier than the hydra and the price tag is a little bit heftier so for the price just north of 2000 maybe a little cheaper with a discount code i think it's got a lot of capability if you're wanting to put it on a hunting rifle have a dedicated rifle that you can shoot in the day, you can shoot at night, you can use as thermal. I think this optic right here would be a great option and a great choice even for that price tag. So right now I've got it mounted on this Bear Creek AR. This is kind of like the, uh, the test bed rifle, the host for all things being tested on the channel. I didn't want to you know, burn up my good rifles, my personal rifles, testing things. So Bear Creek was nice enough, cool enough to uh, give me this rifle to be used on the channel for things just like this. Uh, right now, I've got the uh, Turbo K on the front. I've got a couple other little Magpul things on it. But for the most part, Bear Creek Turbo K. Um, this is what I'm using to test out this Therm Knight right here. Now, I'll have to say I've been really pleased with this optic. I don't get to keep this thing. I've got to give it back to him as kind of loner um, just to, to get video and footage of it and test it out. I'm not even keeping it, so it's not like I'm obligated to say good things about it because they're giving it to me. They're not. i got to send it back. But I am impressed with this. The quality of this one, the thermal sensor and all that, is noticeably better than the uh, the Hydra, which was like a 225 model. This is a 335. The, uh, the sensor is just a little bit better, a little more pixels, a little clearer, whatever you want to call it. It really is pretty cool. You can just with a switch of a button, one button on the side, you can switch between thermal and night vision. So if you've got a target that you don't really know, that you can't really see uh, with night vision, you can boom hit it over to thermal and be like oh that's what that is that is the target or that is the animal or if you wanted to be able to hunt without giving off your uh your your ir signature for whatever reason you can just use thermal pick up your heat signature things like that if it's daylight you want to zero your optic you want to shoot during the day you know you can just turn it on the daylight mode and you can shoot during the day so like i said this thing really i mean it really has everything some of the other thermal and night vision scopes that i've tested the downside is they're hard to shoot during the daytime because like now in the summer everything is hot everything is, is the surface of it is warm there's not a lot of contrast with the the temperature of the target in the background which is how thermal works the target the heat signature makes a different color it stands out against a cooler backdrop i.e you can see the target better even with everything being warm this one even on thermal can see pretty well in the daytime you can distinguish things very easily the sensor is, is good enough it's clear enough that you can even distinguish targets in the daytime in the summer but even if you couldn't you can just hit that one button and change it to daylight mode and you can see whatever you want it's a very nice clear camera inside there the lens is up here the screen is back here so you're not really looking through for those of you who don't know how digital scopes work you're not looking through actual glass real time and seeing the target you have a camera up front that displays an image on a little screen back here and then you look through it and you see it on the screen so that's how you can get like daylight and nighttime all in the same package it's just a camera that picks up ir at night and it's a regular daylight camera during the day so i know i've been calling this like a dedicated optic for the whole video but you really could 
take this off if you had like a, a QD mount or something you could take it off and use it as a standalone monocular or whatever else you can probably even mount it in front of an optic if you wanted to i don't see why that wouldn't work but the downside is it's bigger it's heavier it's got more you know bulk and size and weight to it so it's going to take up more room in a pouch it's going to take up add more weight to your to your unit to your kit compared to the hydra which is smaller sleeker designed for that kind of stuff this one is designed to be an all-in-one do everything optic so let's just go over some of the features of this scope right here it does have kind of like a throw lever, like a normal scope on the back to change your magnification on your thermal. It has a Picatinny on the side. Not really sure what you would mount there. Maybe if you wanted to put a stronger illuminator on the side, you could do that. It also has the port for getting info off the USB-C for downloading um, you know, firmware, get video off of it and all that sort of thing. On the other side, this compartment right here is where the battery is. Take this cap off the back battery slides in it's also the ir illuminator on the front end and this little square piece in between both of those is your laser rangefinder. it comes with a zero moa mount and a 20 moa so like for this one i've just got the zero because this is not a long range gun if you had it mounted on a bigger higher caliber rifle you would probably want to go with that 20 moa just so you could get some long range you can zero it farther range and get the most out of the adjustments of the optic so I'm not really going to get into all the, the, the buttons and going through the menus and all that stuff because you can find the manual online. It's all in there. But I will say it's very easy. It's very user friendly. It's very intuitive. The buttons on the back here are very easy to use, very easy to navigate. The menu on the inside. Once you get the hang of how the buttons are set up, it's very easy to go through, change things, go back to default. You know, you can change your reticle. You can uh, zero it. Zeroing it is easy. Just like the Hydra, it has that uh, one, one shot zero is what they call it basically you shoot you move your reticle to it you basically take a picture of where the reticle was compared to the bullet hole and then you just move the move the uh, the reticle over to the bullet hole hit enter and there you go you should be pretty much on you might have to take one more shot to confirm it but for the most part one maybe two shots to zero this thing so to wrap it all up if you're looking for a do all thermal night vision scope I really think you should take a look at the, the 335R Thermite from DNT. If you're looking for more of a kind of jack of all trades uh, thermal that you can take off and put in a pocket, put it in front of an optic, I think the Hydra might be more down your alley. But if this is what you're looking for, check out the 335R Thermite from DNT Optics.